This is a video that tells you how to find cosecant, secant, and cotangent sides of a unit circle. This is the worksheet that corresponds with this video. If you need to look at the answers for, from the answer key, just pause the video. Here's how to do the problem. Okay, question one. Find the cosecant of 3 pi over 4. First, you need to find the 3 pi over 4 on the unit circle. Then, you find the sine of 3 pi over 4, this, which equals the square root of 2 over 2, or 1 over square root of 2. Then, to find the cosecant, you have to use the reciprocal of sine, which equals the square root of 2. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Uh, for problem B, uh, you are finding the secant of 11 pi over 6. First, find 11 pi over 6 on a unit circle. Next, you're going to find the cosine of 11 pi over 6, which is in this pro which is root 3 over 2. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so you take the reciprocal of root 3 over 2, and you get 2 over root 3, or square root of 2 times 3, no, or root 2 times the square root of 3 over 2. For problem C, you are finding the cotangent of 5 pi over 3. First, find 5 pi over 3 on the unit circle. Then, you will find the cosine of 5 pi over 3, which is 1 half, and the sine of 5 pi over 3, which is negative square root of, of, of 3 over 2. Um, cotan cotangent is cosine over sine. Because tangent is sine over cosine, and cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So you do 1 half over negative square root of 3 over 2, which is also 1 half times negative 2 over square root of 3, which then equals negative 1 over square root of 3, or negative square root of 3 over 3. Uh, for problem 2a, you are finding the value of cosecant of 9 pi over 2. First, find 9 pi over 2 on a unit circle. In this case, it's interesting because it is straight up on the at the point, which is 0, 1, where x equals 0 and y equals 1. Cosine is equal to x and sine is equal to y on unit circles, so sine of 9 pi over 2 is 1 because the y value at this point is 1. And cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, and the reciprocal of 1, which would also be equal to 1 over 1, is just 1 over 1, which is also 1. So <laughs> the answer to this problem is 1. Okay, for um, B, it, you're trying to find the secant of 11 pi over 4. First, find 11 pi over 4 on the unit circle. Then, you find the cosine of 11 pi over 4, uh, it, which is negative a square root of 2 over 2. Um, the secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so secant of 11 pi over 4 is 2 is negative 2 over root 2. Oh. <laughs> Wait. It, this is one form. Negative 2 over the square root of 2 is one legal form of secant of 11 pi over 4. But if you multiply it by root 2 over root 2, then this takes the um, square root of 2 out of the denominator which makes it simply negative square root of 2. Okay, for C, it is cotangent of 3 pi. So first you have to find 3 pi on the unit circle, 
which is also interesting on this case because you're going straight left. The coordinates of this point are negative 1, 0. Cosine is x and sine is y. The cotangent is cosine over sine, which makes um, the cotangent of 3 pi negative 1 over 0, which is undefined. Because you can't have 0 in the denominator. Uh, for problem 3a, you're finding the cosecant of negative 7 pi over 6. So remember to backtrack when counting um, your unit, counting the um, units of your unit circle to find negative 7 pi over 6. And sine of negative 7 pi over 6 is 1 half in this location. And um, since cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, you just find the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2. So cosecant of negative 7 pi over 6 is equal to 2. In B, you're trying to find the secant of 2 pi over 3. So first find the um, 2 pi over 3 on the unit circle. Then find the cosine of 2 pi over 3, which is negative 1 half. Since secant is the reciprocal of cosine, Secant 2 pi over 3 equals negative 2. Uh, for problem C, we show the work here, but basically to find cotangent of 5 pi over 4, remember to find cosine of 5 pi over 4, which is negative square root of 2 over 2, and sine of 5 pi over 4, which is negative square root of 2 over 2. And to find cosine, you simply divide Cosine, I mean, to find cotangent, you simply divide cosine by sine. So you divide negative square root of 2 over 2 by negative square root of 2 over 2, which is the same as multiplying um, the fraction, a fraction by the reciprocal of the other fraction. And when you multiply those two, um, it gives you 1 as your answer. In A, we show you the full work of cosecant 8 pi over 3, where you find 8 pi over 3 on the unit circle, then you find the sine of 8 pi over 3, which is square root of 3 over 2, then the, which is, then you find the cosecant of 8 pi over 3, which is the reciprocal of sine, which is 2 over square root of 3, or 2 square root of 3 over 3. For B, uh, you're finding secant of pi over 2. So again, this is one where you go straight up on the unit circle. And the um, coordinate point for this point is um, 0, 1, where x equals 0 and y equals 1. And because you're finding secant, you look at cosine. Because, and since cosine equals x and x equals 0, cosine equals 0. And the reciprocal of 0 is just 0, so secant of pi over 2 is equal to 0. For C, you are finding the cotangent of 5 pi over 6. So first you find 5 pi over 6 on the unit circle. Then you find the cosine of 5 pi over 6, which is square root of 3 over 2. Then the sine of 5 pi over 6, which equals negative 1 half. And since the cotangent is cosine over sine, you put, negative, you put square root of 3 over 2 over negative 1 over 2. Um, which is also um, square root of 3 over 2 times negative 2, which equals negative square root of 3. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful. Um, peace out. <laughs>